sorry, they, they are contaminated. Um, so, uh, you can have my gaffers in the ICU. So, let's, so one at a time, um, heart team, in fact, go, go over to the opposite side of the hazmat clearing, please, with your kit. Just get just ready to receive these lot. Um, so, one at a time, no, if you want, I'll just stand back, mate, just in case you get contaminated. So, one at a time, Michael, you go um, first, get all your so, kit off, put it in the decontamination uh, bags, put it in the, the bin, ice, um, and then take the bin, just pop so, it aside. So, one at a time. Um, you can't, I don't think we'll. Yeah, yeah, go on. Just, yeah, I'll think about that later. Right, from um, a hazmat perspective, um, what we're going to do, we're just going to um, get into contact with control, work out the best way to manage the spill. And um, then, after we've worked out the best way to manage the spill, um, we're going to send another team back in NBA and hazmat and manage the spill, then decontaminate them. And we can start to the scale in the incident now. <laughs> So, Michael, the second we've got Michael out of decontamination, we can get these pictures and we can sort of see what's, um, what's actually, what the, what the scale of the leak and sort of what's affected inside. So, basically, with hydrogen... How did you take off? Is it hydrogen fluoride? Okay. Yeah. Yes. So, with hydrogen fluoride, obviously, for really badly damages lung tissue, so we need to be sort of careful of respiratory issues. So if anybody sort of starts feeling any sort of respiratory issues, they can't breathe, you need to sort of bring it up immediately. Um, but obviously don't start rushing over to D DCA if you're decontaminated, just sort of radio in. Um, are we on intrinsic radios at the moment, just in case any spark could sort of set it up? Are we not? You know, staying on normal airwaves. Right, Ollie's finally arrived. Right, Ollie, have you put on your EDPA as well, mate? Get, get in, get all your hats. But heart team, you on your heart communications, and you can you start dealing with patients and anything on either. I'll, I'll come in and message you. Yeah, all the heart team to heart comments. Thank you. So, um, and from um, your perspective now, what what are we doing going forward? Well, what are um, our we're, we're just we're just um, confirming on the computer at the moment. Um, we're just confirming. Yes, right, here we go. No hazmat at the moment. So then three, is that, so Mike, is it then three, it's then three canisters, isn't it? It's more of like, it's like a vapour in it, more than anything. And you know when it's leaking, like, was it like, you know how you can sort of hear a lot of water pouring out or something? Was it, did you hear like a, like a really loud leak or was it, was it subtle? Because no, that, that no, cloud no. is quite it's substantial, but it's not not too. It's not like a major. Yeah. Um, not on all the air canisters. There was like I think maybe one or two that were normally leaking. Uh, not a massive rush, but there was one that there was a like larger rush out of it. I right, think it's okay. the one on the left, but that's the furthest back into the one. Right. So um, it's probably better to try and get it so as quick as we can. Then if it's sort of that side of the leak. Mm -hmm. um, Thinking about, I'm just looking at, look on, the, on that map on that computer now. Looking behind, looks like a care home. So I reckon we need to. Do you reckon it'll be either put a stay put place, you know, or do we get them? Do you reckon it would it be dangerous to evacuate, or should we stay put with them inside the building? Uh, I think stay put is probably the best. Yeah, I reckon stay put. Shut uh, the windows up as well. Just to let us work. Do we reckon 100 meter cars in around this incident? Um, just well, as, how just much? We, how, how many liters have we got spilled? Um, we can find that out literally as soon as we can get everyone's ready to go so we can get these we can start finding these questions out now well um, i've sent a team in so just go and check with them yeah and um, ben just go and check with that team that's yeah, just been okay. decontaminated right um my, uh, you're decontaminated aren't yeah. you michael yeah right so with this leak now do you know how could you sort of give us an estimate of how um, much is leaking per minute per minute probably about 0.5 liters per canister so, in a minute, you're looking probably so like we're looking at 1500 yeah. per minute. That's put in a 300 meter hazard zone. Yeah. 300 meter yeah. hazard zone, yeah. Right, okay. So, everyone sort of areas in immediate danger, then, really. Well, not well, immediate. No, there's, danger, there's a 300 meter hazard zone. And then, as well as that 300 meter hazard zone, we've got the hot zone, the warm zone, and the cold zone. 
So we're sort of, yeah, so... So the hot zones, anything past, uh, anything past where the wall is going into the yard, the warm zone is around the decontamination facility, the yeah. cold zone is where the command unit, the fire appliances and the DCO is about. Yeah. Are we all happy with that? Yeah, yeah. so... Yeah. So we've we've got we've got a bit of time because obviously it's with with hydrogen um, fluoride it's not combustible so we're, we're not looking at sort of like a fire or such it can't ignite but I'm just worried about obviously if it's still it, as the, the longer we leave it the more it's going to leak the bigger the plume will be the more people will be affected and obviously then we're obviously we're going down the lines of looking at a standby or maybe a major so probably best way we start acting upon it like, as quick as we can mm -hmm. um, getting people to sort of repair the leak. Um, uh, considering repairing this leak, what looking at these photos, what do you reckon would be more suitable? How do you think we should repair it? Well, I think uh, I don't think we should. Do you reckon we should sort of monitor it, leave it to leak, and sort of keep the cloud? No, no. I think we should take a spill container down there, uh, pump right. out the liquid from the right. the uh, damaged yeah. container into a sealed container. Yeah. Um, and then. Decontaminate the area involved. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh, how, I think that's how probably people, the best bet. Yeah. So how many people you sort of needing for this operation then? Uh, so I'm gonna have the first crew go in and contain the leak, and then we're gonna pull them back out. Then we're gonna put a second crew in, jump to the barrel. Uh, then pull them out, then we're going to put a third crew in to decontaminate the area, and a fourth crew in to finish the decontamination. Right, so, so we, we'll yeah, be yeah. having eight BAs in over a period of about two hours. Okay. Right, over two hours. Okay, so basically, every single fire crew that goes in, I want one heart paramedic covering medical side. So. Um, we, I think we've got five medics who are available. Um, we've got four hazmat medics. So what will happen is it'll be a constant cycle. So one medic will go in, they'll come out and get decontaminated. Another medic will go in with the new team until we sort of fix... Um, we don't really have much need to put a medic in the hot zone. We can have them in the warm zone. But there's just the manpower as well. Like, because it's just helping. Just, it's immediate like, care just in case anything does go wrong. Yeah, well, that's what that's why I'm saying. Yeah, they get them ready in the warm zone, but I don't don't really want to be putting them in the hot zone. All right. Realistically, we want to limit the exposure as much as we can. Yeah. Like yeah. if if you get them in the pant, the hazmat pants and the BA, just start ready to go if they need to. They can don the top half, don the mask, and yeah, they're all ready to go. Yeah. But I think um, it's taking unnecessary risk to commit them. Right, um, yeah. For what re realistically is no need. Okay. I'm just going to open this window, it's a bit warmer now. Yeah. Alright, um, so, I'm going to go and breathe the cruise. So, what a time we'll have two medics on sort of like stand up, so just like get ready just in case you're going up. So, two medics go towards the CCP at the front and then. Two medics stand by at the back, ready to treat anyone coming through decontamination. Anyone right. who needs to be treated does need to come through decontamination as well. Yes, mate. To do Mackenzie and Max. Oh, heart team. Yeah, we, we can we can shut that out for the moment. Um, I think he's on entry. Can who's who's this? Uh, on this side. All right. Who's the, who's this on here? All right. It's Michael. Right, Michael and uh, Max, if you want to get, get your uh, fire kit on, um, get your BA on, and get your hazmat suit on, um, then we can, um, we're going to commit you with just the basic spill containment equipment, um, just to initialize the containment of the leak. Hard team, are you ready for me to commit? Matt 
he's gone down. Right, Bowman, you ready? Ben. Um, I'm waiting on the heart team. Let me ask them. Heart team, we're at it. Alpha 1-1 one, one on Alpha 1-2 committing to the rear yard to uh, to um, contain explosion. Right. Alpha 1 to be engine control. You just confirm with instant command that we are um, collecting the substance into a spill box, yeah? Ben? Ben? Negative. You should. Right, so Ben, I've got two medics here ready to go close to their institutes. Um, oh, I see, really to be a... Control. B control, I've got no mic. Basically, um, the BA team in there now should be containing the spill with absorbent logs. Uh, with absorbent logs um, rather than managing it. Thank you, I remember we're streaming, stop playing me, cat. That's fine. He's come so hard up at the Alpha. Yeah. Right, so Ben, I've got two medics, so I'm ready to go, so if anything just comes through, just shout, or shout for him, we'll get them signed no up, right? Go. Um, obviously, just hard, you, you're in the air wave, so you just keep listening now, you'll sort of get an idea what's happening. Um, decontamination's all set up, we are ready to receive anybody, and we are ready to deploy if anything does happen. Um, Cordons are all done, we're all happy, we've got a plan in place, so... It's all good then, innit? Sounds good. Michael, we told you to collect the leak, not like lock yourself in the back of a van. I'll form one out. Max, you coming? Yep, yep. Right, so, same procedure for decontamination. Single file, get your kit off, get in it, get it in the um, decontamination bins, um, straight through that, um, go to where the heart medics are in hazmat suits, speak to them, go in, cause they're, they're in heart comms, get a check over, um, so it's one at a time, just um, obviously just stand away from the, from Max. So obviously, Mike, well, once you've got through the MA, if you want to go into heart comms, just speak to them, they'll check you over as well as Max. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously bring the bin out, just put it to the side, um, keep it inside the tent though. Hello? Hello, Michael. Yeah. I've just been in, so I need to check over. Okay. You'll need to check Max over as well. Lads. Alright. Hello. So, boss man, if you deal with Max, I'll deal with uh, if you deal with Michael, I'll deal with Max. Okay, so we're going to Ops 1. If you want to, then that means you can uh, see how he is. So if you and Michael go to Ops 1. Not you. Huh? You're not, you're in Ops 2. 
No, I think I'm in Ops 1, mate. No, you're on Ops 2. Which uh, one am I? Are you, are you like decontaminated? Yeah, uh, we're going into different feces to uh, treat. Right, right, I'll go into Ops 2. Just stand, stand on a second. I'm going to wait, wait, Michael. You stay with me, yeah? Yeah. Both you and Jay go to Ops 2, please. Right, hello. Mate. Um, obviously, you've got your cough. So, just before we start, any sort of like pain anywhere, any sort no, of issues no. breathing, no. can you just take two really big deep breaths, please, mate? Okay, and again. All right, any pain there? No, no. Okay, so can you, um, you know, with your right hand, can you lift it up, please? Yeah, lift it right okay, hand. Okay, left hand. Left hand. My two both hands, can you um, squeeze them as tight as you can? Yeah. yeah. Seems fine. All right, perfect. Um, so you've got you, no sort of pain anywhere, no sort of like burning feeling, no sensations? No, no. Yeah, okay, let me just shine a torch into your eyes. Oh, fine there, right, can you follow my finger? So obviously I'll, um, if I take my finger to the left, just keep following that. Yeah. To the right. Down. Upwards. Alright, brilliant. Yeah, um, no concerns, mate. Um, yeah. So obviously, just just before we continue, are you sort of happy with the process? What's happening? Like, yeah, yeah. I'm happy. All right. Um, now I've got you. Obviously, I am sort of half med advisor as well. So looking at this chemical link now, what are we sort of what are we looking at? Um, um obviously you've seen on the photos, there's three yeah. or six barrels leaking. Yeah. Um, the far the far barrel in the corner is leaking about point. Um, is probably leaking a, a bit more than the um other barrels. Um. I'm yeah. We'll put so, absorbent uh, logs around yeah, the um, like barrels. So yeah. Yeah, so so they'll take about what? About maybe out considering how big the leak is, what we're thinking about half an hour, oh, twenty minutes, half maybe. An hour, yeah, half an hour, yeah. Uh, considering you know that this the plume of like the sort of like the mm -hmm. mist, I'd say. How big was that? Could you look like, was it spreading over to sort of the care room? Um, yeah. It seems to just be contained to the warehouse at the minute, man. Okay. But, no, well, I reckon what it, it might be a good idea committing maybe I see because he's a hempo committing me as Hasman advisor to have a little look. You know, so we actually know what we're dealing with as well yeah. as um, being told. So I reckon um, that could be a good option. So I'll sort of liaise yeah, with that. Yeah, what see an idea could be is we put maybe a camera onto one of our helmets or take a camera, and so you just can have a little look. Around. Yeah, that is yeah that is another option if you yeah. want to sort of minimise decontamination. But yeah. at this point in time, I'm happy with the decontamination process. I, I, I can't see it being an issue with just sending me and Ben in or anyone else who sort of needs to see this leak. Yeah. Um, but I'll sort of, you're you're free to get back in your decontamination suits. Now, obviously not the ones that are decontaminated. Get your extra yeah. ones out. Um, and obviously then we'll start um, going through the process again of getting you to deploy back into there. But yeah, yeah. You're, you're all right, mate. No, no issues. All right, nice one, Paul. That's all good and everything. So, yeah. Yeah, nice one. Well, perfect. Uh, Mitch, uh, Joe Jones and Oscar, get 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 in front of me. You're going in. Thingy, um, I've been decontaminated. I'm all right. Um, Max has been decontaminated, but he's still with the art paramedics. Where's Joe Jones? No clue. Right. So, um, what I w I've just been thinking, you know, so. We know what what sort of we're actually looking at as like being told. Do you reckon it'd be worth getting some like hempos in in BA or like, anyone to sort of see if we can actually see with the actual leak? We know what we're dealing with though, and we've formulated a tactical plan to deal and contain the leak. Right. We've got hempos here already, but we just we no need to send them in really. Um. Right. Um, right. Jack and Oscar, can you go in together? Yes. I'm not that. I'm like um, not a celebration now. Jack and who didn't wear then? Some anybody who didn't wear that's a firefighter. Um. Right, Michael, you're going BA control. Jack and Mackenzie getting BA. That's how hard. So is Jack, yeah, are these like going in now to just sort of have a look what them logs have done? Yeah. yeah. Wait, who's this? That's boss man. Mackenzie's coming over now. Right. Yeah, you should be here. No, it's boss, boss man fire. Takes tag. 
Oh yeah, that, that, no, no, he's, he's hot there, he's going for a decontamination. Alpha so one, one, alpha one, two. Well, oh. three people assessing them, so they're just going for a decontamination, so just let okay. them, let, they'll do, they'll do what they need to do. Both BAs got 300 bars there. Right, oh. send them in. Perfect. Right, you two get your kit off, have a rest, because you'll be the next team in. These, these two with my heart lock. Alright. Uh, right, Michael and... Going? Yeah, 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 feel free, yeah, yeah. for you. Single file or single file. <laughs> They're not contaminated, are they? They were just treating people, I'm just treating it as a precaution. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously they could be contaminated, and obviously if they're treating people, it just makes the situation worse. Is this Oscar? No, this no. is Max. Uh, Max and Michael, um, if you have a rest now, uh, you'll be the next team. Mm -hmm. um, can I be brought to the incident? Uh, sure. Well, there's a choice. The next BA team can either be Max and Michael or Noah and Oscar. Depends if Noah wants to go. No? It's a bit when we want to get everyone contaminated or get the variety of people going in. Because obviously, if we get more people in and they say everything goes wrong, we can have more ideas about what to do. So, you sort of understand what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah. So, yeah, because Michael's be a co anyway, so it, it saves the job of having mapping to sort of reset everything, doesn't it? So, more Mate, what do you want to do now when the boss man decon? Um, just set up the voices to new. There's two firefighters coming up in about 20 minutes, so just same, same sort of thing, please, mate. Okay. Cheers. Also, one to Bieko. War one. Oh, so I've been to the ahead. Yeah. Um, can you just figure out sort of how these logs are doing in the moment whilst these BA look, these BAs are in over? Mm. Bridge control to Alpha 1 and Alpha 1 2. Alpha 1 1. Can you give me an update of the situation with how well the logs are doing over? Uh, the logs are nearly full with liquid. Received. Bridge control hotel 1. Yeah, hold to one receiving. Uh, BA, crew, BA crews report on logs doing very well with absorbing the liquids over. Yeah, received. Uh, I have an issue. What's that issue? Uh, the back of my hazmat suit is stuck in the van. <laughs> the what? We got a BA emergency. We got a BA emergency, John. Yeah. I'm trying to walk it, it's not working. You are the Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm Marco. Hello. How long have these I got left then? Oh, yeah, they've got five minutes. They've got ten minutes of um, normal air, and then yeah. five of their obviously emergency. So you should be yeah. filling the container with the liquid and removing the container to a safe place. So we're, before we start doing that, where we're going to pop the container, where do we sort of want to? I'm going anywhere. I'm not too bothered. Do you reckon I haven't? Do you reckon we could just pop these yellow doors on and pop it in there just so it's out of the way? Or do you reckon that will the problem with contaminating the building? Well, if it's contaminated, I don't think it would start contaminating, would it? Let's just leave it outside, it'll be collected soon anyway. Yeah. Alright, okay. Couple of the 03 to Golf at 09, break 6 1. Golf of 03 out, no response.
Right, um... Right, so then, um, what we're thinking is, so when these lot come out, have another, like, sort of command meeting, going over what we've, what, what sort of stage we're at now. Well, we're going to do one more wire after this, then. Right, yeah, and then after... Sure, I'll, I'll form one, I'll form one, I'll form one, I'll form one. Just an update on your A, you've got 10 minutes of work and air left over. Receive. Oh, it worked now. Never mind. Right, I'm gonna hang up. Uh, Golf 8 0 November 86 1. Go ahead. <laughs> um, Golf Bravo 0 3 to Golf 8 0 November 86 1. Can we have a attendance at this incident at the AA depot in uh, at the AA depot in Ashton? Um, it's a large scale hazmat. We just require your assistance with visualising the uh, ongoing operations. Received Golf 8 0 November 86 1 en route to incident. Um, how do I get out of this station? Oh, the door's over here. My, where's the car? Oh, my car's at the TRU station. Um, TRU station? The other station. Um. Right, fuck. Forward. You what? <laughs> right, we're gonna get we're gonna get a stop button and bang in, right? No, we, we've got one more one more team to commit and then we're we're sorted. It's, it's we had another team. We only, we had only one more team to commit like ten minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, they're still not out yet. No. Right. With the drones on the way now. I was at Cadets and I decided that I didn't want to go to Cadets anymore, so I'm now back at home. Sit one. I can't get to the right fucking station. That man's all over these that I got. Five of work and I'll pull them on. Be engine control to Alpha 1 Alpha 1 2. Proceed out of the building to replenish sets and get to contaminate the other. I'm actually going to jump off a bridge. Yeah, just for streaming, just so you're aware. What? We're, We're streaming, so right, keep your mouth shut. On. Oh, sorry. Hi, bro. <laughs> I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go near them if I were you, mate. I'm just gonna get contaminated. Can you like stay away from me, like man? Why is it people come out and they immediately like walk over to us, like kiss, kiss, yeah, kiss, yeah, kiss? I don't, I don't think people understand the thing of decontamination. When you're decontaminated, you're for the you're life, for the um, for the LGBT inclusivity, I'm now gonna kiss her. Moments. <laughs> Moments after seeing that disgrace. Right, um, Noah and Oscar, do you want to do the last BA where? Nope. Um, Oscar and... D does anybody want to nominate themselves? I'm just going to borrow a mic. Right, to uh, everyone who's watching the stream, apologies that this is going on for a long time. This is uh, basically what has my incidents are. Um, the point of this stream wasn't to kind of show... Well, it wasn't to watch the internet as such, it was to see some of the vehicles that are here. Uh, so I'll get Michael to have a quick run around so you can see the ICU properly and that and then uh, we'll end the stream here instead of saving just sitting about for another half an hour while we like start to pack up. Um, but yeah, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the stream, Michael, if you just want to give him a quick look yeah, around yeah. the ICU and see how you while it's here. Uh, and then, yeah, just end the stream when you're ready. Uh, thanks for watching everyone, see you in a bit. Obviously, this is the TRU, which stands for Technical Response Unit. It's here as um, a pump. Um, it's, it's, we are in Ashton's ground, so it came here as one of the nearest pump and appliances. All right, we're gonna do like, we're gonna do the same that we did last time, where we split each other off. So, boss man go with Jack, and I'll go to Ken. So we'll go to the PCs. All right, um, Jack, go to Ock.
So continuing, we have the instant command unit. This is here because we made put because um, as the command point for the incident. So all the officers will have their meetings in here and plan tactical meetings. As you can see, we've got radios, and servers, and maps of the area. Obviously, another pump. We've got the heart team again. Some more ambulances and a few civilians down there. So yeah, thank you for watching the stream. I mean, hope you enjoyed watching.